Good morning, world. Good morning, YouTube. Um, <clears throat> my neighbor's gone. The guy in the semi truck. But I am still here. <clears throat> Woke up maybe a couple hours ago. This weekend is going to be a hot spell in the uh, west coast, southwest. Um, and it's already, it's like 10 a.m. It's getting pretty warm. So I got this stuff yesterday. Cinnamon toothpaste. I'm pretty excited about this stuff. This, um, all the Dr. Brown stuff is, I think, eco-friendly. Um, I've been, I've been assuming it, it's been eco-friendly. I've just been spitting it out, so <clears throat> hopefully it's true, <laughs> because otherwise, otherwise it would, uh, not be so nice of me. I'm just going to assume it's eco-friendly. And that tastes good. <laughs> By the way guys, this is not uh, dirty water. This is a vita mineral green uh, mixed in with my water. It's, it's like a health food sort of thing, multivitamin. I need to take more vitamins, so I might be drinking green water from now on. Anyways, let's uh, hit the road. We are, I think like two hours from San Francisco. Let's just call it three in the bus. Before I get to San Francisco, I'm going to hang around and get to the coast, um, back to Point Ray's place, because uh, it's freaking hot today, so <laughs> if I'm going to hang out, might as well hang out where it's nice and cool. So I'm in a little traffic heading towards the uh, the ocean, and I just want to show you guys <laughs> how hot it is here. My <laughs> my phone turned off, and as all of you know, I do have air conditioning. Uh, thousands of dollars later, and I'm not using it. Um, <laughs> Check out this rad airstream for sale across the street. That thing looks pretty vintage and uh looks like you could have a lot of fun in that thing all right so i am a ways back from the town of uh jenner which is up there here is a beautiful russian river uh cell service is uh non-existent over here so i haven't been able to met up meet up with my friend um <laughs> so uh, i'm just gonna hang out and hope that i get spotted right here it's pretty hard to miss a big gigantic yellow bus so uh, I'm gonna work on some edits and uh, also got a couple treats in there, but we'll save those for a little bit later. Oh, by the way, also, um, I've been using this, uh, it's called a Wii Boost. Uh, I can tell you guys a like, model number later, but basically hooks up to this antenna. I just stuck it on the bus right there. And it improves your signal. Without it, I didn't have any LTE. And with it, I got two bars, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm also charging up this portable charger thing, so if I need to, I can jump up on the roof and power this thing and, you know, all that fun stuff. All right, right now we're heading uh, south, um, down PCH, uh, just following uh, Bree. You'll meet her in a, in a minute. Uh, she's from the area, and uh, was cool enough to uh, meet up with me today. So uh, I think after that, we're gonna try and get down to Point Reyes if, if that's possible, um, and then go explore a little bit and try to find that sideways tree. By the way, guys, this is Bree. Oh, how's it going? <laughs> uh, we're over here at the uh, Cypress Tree Tunnel, just hanging out, snapping some photos. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> just discussing life and how amazing life is. And um, also, we, I think, I don't know if I told you, but I came to the realization today about how many dads there were in this world. That's why it was so packed today at the beach. The Dega Bay was crazy, yes. Yeah, tons of and traffic. And the river, oh my gosh. <laughs> Point Reyes, like it took us a good amount of time to get here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know, it took us, it took us like four times as long to get here as it should have, but 
I'm glad we're here. Are you glad we're here? I'm really glad we made it. Yeah. Alright, sweet. Alright, tell the class what you found. We found a big ass tree. <laughs> So we were, we were looking for a spot to hang the hammock, but um, the trees are a little bit too far out, so instead, what do you do when you can't find a good hammock tree? You climb the tree. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay. One of the things I want to see that I didn't get to see last time I was here was that leaning tree. And so, I think that's going to be the next order of business. You go. Let's do it. <laughs> so there are at least two deers off in the distance. Oh, looks like a mama deer and two small deers. And they have big old ears, but maybe these ones aren't super afraid of humans, so they hopefully won't run off. So maybe if we just approach really slowly. Here I am like narrating. Oh my god, look at him jump. That's funny. So cute. They're too little. The mom was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry. We don't want to eat you. We are at the parking lot of the lighthouse. There are no trees in sight, but I'm hoping that a tree is around the corner over there. All right, check out these crazy cypress trees. We were just noticing that there's like a plant. Hang on. Uh, there's like a plant growing on a plant, growing on a plant. There's like moss and whatever the heck this is. And then up there, I don't know if you can see it, I'll try and zoom in, boom, that is a fern. That's a piece of brie. Piece of brie. <laughs> I like the cheese. <laughs> Less cheesy, I promise. Isn't that cool? On this side, we have this like crazy rock, mossy formation thing. I'm guessing probably dug out to make this road, but um, super rad. We scored on the day. I did want it to be foggy, but this is one of the rare clear days. Unfortunately. <laughs> what Bree doesn't understand is that the, one of the things I wanted to see is this tree. One tree right there. And it probably sounds absolutely absurd. How absurd on a scale 1 to 10? The absurd this is definitely a 10, but okay. it's, it's a good view of the sun. <laughs> See, I have these weird quirks and weird like to-do lists and things like that, and this is one of them. I just, it's a tree, and I don't know, people take pictures of it, they like, they lean and whatever, right here. Yes, except body a little bit more straight. Oh We're practicing our Instagram poses here. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, kind of. Well, you just gotta keep your spine straight. Try it again. Well, my spine maybe doesn't go that straight. <laughs> Perhaps. That's true. Okay, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Bree's probably thinking to herself, all right, it was cool up until this point, until this weirdo like tried to make me like fall on the ground and lean like the tree. Normally I get paid for something like this. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, there you go. Yeah, that was great. I'm being summoned over here. What do you what did you find? Look, it's like orange. Oh dude, it is. It looks like insulation kind of. <laughs> what the crazy. heck? What is that? Some kind of like tree fungus, fungus. I'm guessing. Oh, There's fungus among us. Whoa. Fungus among us. <laughs> okay, that's just chilly. That oh. <laughs> that's so funny. I'm like, dude, I'm it's sprouting flowers later. now. That's that, for later. That's so funny. Look at this view right here, by the way. This is so insane. I promise we'll, we'll get more uh, than just this sideways tree. All right, so we just had this epic little sesh. By the way, guys, if you come here and you want this shot, I'll teach you how to do it. So straight ahead, not too dynamic. You want the little house in the background. And so if you come here, you gotta look for a little piece of moss that I put in the ground. <laughs> it's like right here. So we're back, we're on the hillside, maybe 10 or 12 feet from the edge. And then you look this way, and that's the picture I took right like this. 24 millimeters, full frame camera right there. Oh, 
Oh, so these are from the old, what was it? The old lighthouse keeper planted plants a long time ago and they look like succulents. They're kind of growing on the, the little hillside here and there. Right? Aren't they? <laughs> I know. They're rad. If I read this correctly, this is a water catching thing, which goes into a cistern and then coal fire generates generates to make steam for fog signals. Wow, look and look at how much average rainfall this area gets. More than 40 inches. Well actually over here we get 20 inches, but over by the coast, 40 inches. That's nuts. Also over here is the uh, visitor center, part of the National Park Service, um, which is super cool. And these, Bree pointed out, are <laughs> whale bones, or this is a California gray whale skull. That is so cool. I've never seen anything like that. And I can tell you from standing in the middle and having my arm stretched out, it's about six or seven feet long. Those are much bigger. Those are like 12 feet. Um, so super cool and it's so pretty right now we're hitting it right for sunset and the little Bree monkey is climbing up <laughs> climbing up the <laughs> climbing up the, the rocks over here I'm gonna go take a look over towards the edge and see what's going on over here maybe I'll show the user spidey senses and jump on down who knows but look at look at how beautiful this is oh my god is this a slow enough pan for you guys that have been asking for slow pans? Because I hope so. So what Bree doesn't know is that I hate heights. So instead of going up that way, I'm gonna see what's over here. See if I can catch it from another angle. It is so freaking cold up here. Mom was right. I should have brought my jacket. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> oh, rad. So you can see whales out here. You can have a whale at a time. You can see a bunch of birds. Uh, I don't know if the light is still operational or not, but um, let's see. Until 1975, when it became automated. So no more manual operation. And there's something about the wind and the fog here. Fog horns, all that fun stuff. Um, holy crap, 40 mile per hour winds are common here and gusts exceeding 100 miles per hour have been recorded. Very windy spot. Please tell me what you're doing <laughs> with these two unicorns. It's a mouse. I know, a mouse. Oh, it's a mouse and a unicorn. Right. Sorry. <laughs> So um, these two girls in Germany, their dad's a scientist and he actually works with mice on cancer research. Oh cool. And they love mice and their favorite animal is this unicorn. And I bought them today and I thought I would take them on my little trip with me today. There you go. And um, let them join me and it's tough. <laughs> it's tough to um, pose two instead of one. And um, yeah, I even have them kissing. I have All them right. Kids. But they're, yeah, I and mean, they like do, to watch the sunset. Do they have names? No, no. Okay, the that's kids all right. don't even know. What's going to happen is either the father's going to be very afraid or think this is fun. So um, I was traveling alone, and so these are my buddies today. That's so, so rad. So, um, you got, I got to take pictures of somebody <laughs> other than myself, right? Exactly.